All right, so uh, we're getting ready to put the posts on, and the first leg that I put in broke, which was really hard to get out. This is uh, it, this is so so typical now. What I keep seeing from especially fasteners, all this stuff made over in overseas, India, China, it's of such low quality that you know you save some time. You save some money buying it. Well, I mean, you have to buy it because there just isn't hardly any other option. Um, but uh, that money that you save in, in the purchase of it, of buying a inferior hardware, uh, comes back and bites you with uh, hours and hours lost and effort and aggravation. That should never have broken off like that. That, that never should happen. Um, it's just, it's just garbage right here. You can see a head like that with a hole that's pre-drilled. That shouldn't, should never happen. All right. So Jack and I are getting ready to put the post in here. We're going to lag it in with these uh, half inch lags galvanized and I got everything level here and plumb and tacked in. And so we're going to uh, countersink these. Uh, with this inch and a quarter bit because that always looks really nice. So we'll put the first one right here. Three quarters of an inch. That's half. And then we'll drill over here. So we're bolted from both sides, and that's gonna give us incredible strength. Okay, that looks like a good. All right. Okay, so we'll pre-drill pilot holes so we don't break our cheap Chinese lag bolts. Lag screws. Okay, so uh, with these smaller legs, we can use a big, I got a big snap-on cordless impact wrench. I didn't use that on the big bolts here. Uh, several people asked why I wouldn't even, imp I don't have an impact wrench big enough to even touch those. Those went in there so tight. So let's put these in. That is absolutely rigid. Not even you can break that. Hmm. You'd be surprised. What's that? Is it good? Yeah. You got it's nice having a cameraman. Yeah, that's a powerful wrench. How's that feel? A little wiggly. I haven't quite got it tightened up yet. Little extra insurance there, huh?
So here's the finished corner post mounted up. So this is nice. This is the anchor. This will anchor the whole thing for the handrail. And we've got it bolted on two axes. So here and here. So it's exceedingly sturdy. And then it's nailed in from both sides too. So it's going nowhere. I can't even move it. It moves the whole tree house. Same here. Uh, we've got bolt there and had to do a bolt here. Kind of in an angle right there. And two nails. So it's very strong so now the, this is basically the the foundation for the the rail so we'll put a top cap on it and then the cable system that uh, i spoke of earlier we'll get started threading that putting our ferrules in and we'll have a it'd be nice to get this uh covered up i've been working out here a lot and then uh, i hold on to that building right there with a gr like grim death because i'm afraid i'm going to fall off so that'll be nice you ready? Go. You're a lot better than me. Good. Give it one more hit. Put it down there flush. There you go. Next one. If it bend, starts to bend, if it starts to bend over like that, just take your hammer and just tap it back straight and keep going. Oh, oh! oh. When you when you see it bending, you want to stop. You can use your claws like this. And you can pry it over that way too. Let me give you a whack there. I think you'll get it now. Hold up, hold up. You don't want to bend them over. you're doing this tree house and not me. It would take me 10 years to do this. Well, we'd get you a little bit smaller hammer. Mm. Nicely job. Nice job. Nicely done. That's really the done. That's the last uh, that's the last nail in the top cap of the handrail. Nearly. I'm glad we put a deck on. This is really nice. Oh, there's one more. Or three more. All right, go ahead. You can do it. All right, Jack's going to give it the uh, strength, the shakeroo, the strength test. All right. I think. Try the other side. That'll hold, huh? For a little. Bit. Now we just need our cables in there. That'll keep you keep you contained, like a wild animal. Oh dear. All right, guys, you ready for the? Uh, cables okay we're going to start uh, right up here on this post I've got a galvanized eye bolt there and this is here it's called a this is a I don't forget what they're called they're called a cable uh, cable splice or something like that you can repair cable with these I've actually had cables break on winching operations and use several of them you know three or four sometimes even more than that and they'll hold you can actually repair a splice cable really good thing to have in your kit if you have a, a winch in your truck so we'll just put that in there. That'll be nice and secure. We don't want to take any chances on the handrail. Make sure that it can be counted on. And we'll just bolt that all the way through this post with a big washer. So here's my idea for the rail. So I've got a couple pieces in here. So you can see those ferrules that we built. They uh, pound in there, both sides, and the cable goes through there. And of course, and it's just basically stitched through here. You get ferrules on both sides. It comes through here. And on the back side where we can't see it, they'll come down like this. And so I'll just put four strands of this. Here's another one. As we go through all the way down, there'll be six inches in between them. 
evenly spaced. And then down here at the bottom right, we'll put another eye bolt and we'll tension it with a real heavy spring. These ferrules um, are, allow this cable to slide through really, really nice. So we'll, I think that the spring will hold that tight and it'll just keep it tensioned all the time. So let's uh, we'll go through the process here of uh, putting the ferrules in. And we'll see how it works. I haven't seen it done like this before. Um, kind of my invention, but um, seems to make sense. So we're shooting into the light. There's no other way around it, so sorry for the exposure. I need to get a real camera one of these days. So with our hole drilled, these ferrules just fit in here nice and tight. So here's my idea for the rail. So I've got a couple pieces in here. So you can see those ferrules that we built. They uh, pound in there, both sides, and the cable goes through there. And of course, and it's just basically stitched through here. You get ferrules on both sides. It comes through here. And on the back side where we can't see it, they'll come down like this. And so I'll just put four strands of this. Here's another one. As we go through all the way down, there'll be six inches in between them, evenly spaced. And then down here at the bottom right, we'll put another eye bolt and we'll tension it with a real heavy spring. These ferrules, um, or allow this cable to slide through really, really nice. So we'll, I think that the spring will hold that tight and it'll just keep it tensioned all the time. So let's uh, we'll go through the process here of uh, putting the ferrules in and we'll see how it works. I haven't seen it done like this before. Um, kind of my invention, but um, seems to make sense. You're not gonna wanna miss the next episode. This handrail turned out so good Way better than I expected. I really, really like it. I think it's just perfect. Something that I'm going to use on my house when we uh, expand, if and when we expand our de deck someday. So if you wouldn't mind taking a moment, click the thumbs up. It's a good way for you to support the channel, or a way that you can support the channel, and I really appreciate it. And on to the next part. Mm -hmm.